Typical fighting is when two fighters are right up close together and they're fighting. Totally different from being outside. Out here you have long punches and here you have very short and snappy punches, but you can learn to hit hard with short and snappy punches. But when you're on the inside, you've got to punch short and snappy. You can't try to punch long, you'll leave yourself open to be hit. The peekaboo style, your hands are up when, and on your face when you're on the outside. You're trying to get yourself on the inside and you keep your hands up, move your head to keep from getting hit, working your way in. But when you're on the inside, your hands are always up, y'all are right together. Uh, you're putting your weight on the other fighter, uh, trying to make them tired. And you want to hit them either in the body or in the side or try to come up between their gloves. The mitts are a good way. Get the fighter in close to you and have him punch short punches. Uh, put two fighters in the ring, put them right together and let them throw short punches and learn how to throw short punches to hit each other. This is something like anything else. You've got to practice. Nobody just comes out and automatically starts throwing short punches when they're used to throwing long punches. And like anything else, you've got to practice at it, but it can be perfected. Because we don't have a ring, um, I'm going to use the wall as I would the ropes, okay? Now, when you get somebody up against the ropes, you still want to punch short, but when their back's up against the ropes, you can hop over here, one hop to your left, and hit them here. Or you can take a step over here and hit them here. Now, also, no, I, I invented this. Nobody else has ever done it before, but you got to be careful when you do this. You're in really close with your left hand, you reach over to this hand. Pull it down, protect the chin, boom! Everything's short and snappy. If you try to make it long, you're gonna wind up getting hit. So just with your left hand, pull this one down, boom! With your right, get it back up. With your right hand, pull this one down, left hook. But I had several knockouts that way. I've never seen anybody else do it. It's not illegal, but it's a good thing to know. Yeah, the peekaboo style is you're working your way in, slipping punches to get in close enough to the fighter. So Cus uh, liked it that I knew how to fight inside, but learning how to slip just gets you inside a little bit safer. All right, it's very important what you do in this gym as far as keeping your hands up, keeping your chin down, moving after you punch, keeping your balance. What you will do in a fight is what you do here. If you clown in this gym and don't take things seriously, just because suddenly you have a fight, you're not gonna be doing everything properly. You're gonna be doing it in that fight like you did it in the gym. So it's very important to do everything right. Hands up, chin down when you punch, move your head, shift your weight. I've had too many guys over the years wanted to doing things their way and sometimes the only thing to do is to let them fight knowing they have not been listening <coughs> knowing they're not ready they have to learn the hard way i don't want you guys or any of my fighters to have to learn the hard way i know what i'm talking about listen and do what i say practice 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 get it down in the gym and then when fight time comes you'll do everything right in a fight Stay together. Stay together. Stay together. Short and snappy. Back together, back together, stay together. Drop your hands, just keep keep on your face.
stay together. Majestic, we're dropping your hands. One's on his head, another's on your face. 